Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a review for Manchester United home jersey. It is the player version and of course it is the CR7 jersey. A day that all Manchester United fans have been waiting for for years. And which makes sense why it is the most sold jersey ever. And it's almost out of stock everywhere. Now I was fortunate enough to get these from spkits.com. So a huge shout out to them. I absolutely love their customer service and the quality of these jerseys. If you want to check out the Messi number 30 jersey, I'll leave the link in the description. However, this video is going to be about the CR7 jersey and really a detailed overlook of the quality that you are getting for the really low price that you are paying and if, if it isn't worth it getting the replica. But before I start this video, please subscribe my channel so I can keep bringing you more jerseys and more reviews from different budget sources. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So as I said, this jersey looks pretty elegant. The red and white theme look very simplistic and yet very elegant. So this is a player's version. So they have paid so much uh, attention to the even tiny details. Uh, you can see the club logo the adidas logo and the sponsor logo all of them are heat pressed they're, these are not patches or they're not embroidered uh, they might be like that on the fans version uh, but here they're heat pressed and they look pretty good they don't uh, certainly look those cheap logos that might come off after a few washes and i think these are there to withstraw a couple of washes so I decided to get the UEFA arm patch which looks pretty good and I think it's only for extra 3 bucks so I think it was worth it and if you can see even within the patch you can see those little football or soccer balls so just the purpose to show you that there's so much detail even going within that. Now of course this is optional just like the name and the number and if you don't really want them you can get the jersey for even cheaper. On the other arm there's just the heat breast uh, sponsor logo which looks fine nothing wrong with that uh, and that one just comes with the default jersey so it's free of cost. Now what I found unsettling and odd was that they had these uh, elastic slash ribbonish pads on the arms and on the neck they look fine on the neck but uh, on the arm I personally didn't like them that much uh, they kind of stick to your bicep and whatever and I just personally don't like it for neck it's pretty good actually and which also brings me to the topic of sizing so I am a medium I am 5'8 and 178 Pound, so I would recommend going two sizes up please get the extra large at least you can also uh, see the authentication logos and you've got the heat ready logo which is just like how Nike has their dry kit version for players kit uh, Adidas goes for heat body which is just basically saying that it's breathable fabric and if you want to play in this, uh, it will work pretty good and it can also stand a couple of washes. So let's get to the back and let me show you the little detailings and name and number at the back. So of course this is a CR7 jersey but what I want to show you here is the amount of uh, accuracy and detail that they've put in there. You can see the tiny tiny Manchester United logo that's within the number seven is even so precise and even the tiny dots that you can't even actually see from a little far. The golden colored uh, red devil looks really good. The cutout is really good. And there's absolutely no way that someone can say that this is not an original product and is a knockoff instead. So it looks really, really good and nothing else going on at the back, just the name and number. And it has those golden um, stripes at the back and they look pretty good, but that's it for the back. 
the last thing i want to talk about is the shipping itself i paid zero dollars for it and it took around 22 days to get to canada it's gonna take probably around the same time to get to us and most of the european countries so just keep that in mind and that's it for the jersey do let me know if you want me to do any specific jersey next and how you feel about spkits.com thanks for watching and please subscribe